That's like three almost hole outs. 490 yard par four. Um, again, a lot of birdie opportunities out here. Okay, YouTube, this is weird to say, but this is my first 18 hole video for YouTube, so hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, we are out here today at the Pete Dye River Course at Virginia Tech. Beautiful course, gonna be insanely difficult. It's 7650, 7600 yards, so it's gonna be the longest course I've ever played in my life. And on top of that, it's 45 degrees. Uh, I'm wearing three layers. It's gonna be tough, um, you know, it's gonna be tough out here today. The guy inside told me that the course record is literally a 67 from the back tees. That's how hard this course is, and there's been a lot of good players coming in here. So today, our standards are gonna have to change a little bit from normal. Normally I'm a under par golfer today. A 75 might be a good round. I don't know, we'll see. I'm working on some swing changes uh, as well. Uh, but the putting's good. I'm gonna have to putt well today if I wanna go any bit low. I haven't played golf in this many layers in a very, very long time though. I'm actually hitting it good. It's actually ridiculous to see this in person. What, the pause? Like, like dude, I'm hyped right now. <laughs> really? That's <laughs> funny. It's so hard not to be weird, but this is fantastic. That's funny. Alright. Oh, that was unusual. Kick right. Okay, this one somehow stayed in bounds. Uh, white stakes come in pretty close here to the left. But we only have 77 yards, so let's try and start out with a birdie. That was a great line. Just left it in the heart. Okay, guys, she is, uh, she's new to filming with the camera, so be patient with her. Um, <laughs> she'll get better as the round goes on, but that's a part to start out. Not terrible, considering I have tons of excuses right now. Now we have a 475 yard par four, so getting a lot harder. Is that Look at barely me. carried? I think it's fine. Okay, not the greatest of break. Well, I got a good break and a bad break. I was one foot away from being wet here, but I also don't really have a, a stance, so I have to take my medicine. Go. All right, gonna have to grind for par now. Okay, we got 129 to the pin, into the wind, cold. I got the P wedge. Right at it, zoom on that. Oh, okay. Almost made a birdie the hard way. Okay, well, like I said, we almost made birdie the hard way. Okay, that's that's a huge par there. It keeps us an even par through two holes. On to the next one. Okay, sorry to take you guys away from the video. It'll be right back. But if you want to check out McCade's new fall collection, then hit the link in the description and get some nice gear. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I know this is my first video, but we're going to be coming out with a lot more. So... Hopefully you enjoy the content. All right, we got a 588 yard par five, a little uphill, probably plays around 600. That should be good, right in the middle. As you can see, not much roll, so that also is making this course prob probably play close to 8,000 yards if, if you calculate the, the cold and the not much roll. Yeah, it's, it's playing close to 8,000 today. Oh my God, that was the worst shot. Okay, I have 127 to the flag. Kind of got lucky that I skipped out of this bunker, but now I'm on a severe upslope. Pitching wedge in hand, don't need to swing full. Just left of it. Just a little too much left of it. It rolled. If you guys like watching uh, boring golf, then this is probably the video for you and grinding golf. Sit, sit, go in, go in. Mm. Another tap in par, it looks like. You know, I haven't started out hitting the ball great, but the short game, the grind is there, so if we can somehow pull out a decent round today, then I'd be very happy. As Pete Dye said this was the hardest par four he's ever made. It's 500 yards. The fairway is insanely tight. There's not many 500 yard par fours that I play that are also tight. Uh-oh, up to right. It could be danger. 
okay, somehow you can show the out of bounds. The out of bounds comes in really close here, but it's kind of a steep, steep cliff. Uh, I must have got a really good kick because my first one is fine. My second one was about five feet out. So the golf gods are on my side today. I got 224 out. I'm gonna try and really step on the five. Okay, let's grind for double. Okay, uh, I have to get this up and down for a bogey now. This hole took a bad turn. Sit, sit. Guys, I promise you, I'm not normally this bad. I have a million excuses today. But uh, but yeah, chunking five irons like that is not, no excuse for that. That's just, that's just a bad golf shot right there. Hit a house, or the hole, hit the hole. Oh my God, I'm gonna make triple. Minimize damage, two over through four, gotta make some birdies. We are now two over through four, and we have a really long par three here, 225 to the pin. The pin's up, it's normally 235 to the middle. We got a four iron, gotta hit it pretty good. And yeah, that's right at it. Go in the hole. Go a little, go a little, go. Dang. All right. Right there. Thank you. That's how you uh, bounce back from a double right there. Okay, that's probably the closest shot I've hit all year from 225. So to finish up for the birdie, back to one over through five, It things could be worse. The swing feels awful, but I've hit a couple really good shots and some really bad ones. Okay guys, Wyatt is going to play this hole with me. He got me on the course today. He's the teaching pro here at the, at the river course. So uh, it's 400 yard par four. He's been following along. He's a fan of the channel. <laughs> the pause is not I for everyone. I shouldn't have make, made him do that, but it's all good. All right. We have 87 yards. Uh, I, I dodged this pot bunker by a little bit. Oh man, that's got to go hard. Go, go. Come on, do it. Oh wow, it just broke left. Still one over through six. Not a bad par. All right, we got a uh, 160 yard par three. Wyatt's getting his redemption. He's not gonna be doing the pause. Yes, so. sir. So I got a nine iron. It's gonna be a little into the wind. Oh, that was so bad. I almost shanked that ball. I really almost shanked it. <laughs> I think I pulled that one. You've been teaching today. Dude, nice nobody, nobody talks about the camera nerve. <laughs> This shot is not easy, especially with a tight lie. Short game feels good, guys. Going. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I have been grinding my tail off today. <laughs> Ooh, this looks. It's pretty good too from there. That you guys might not be able to tell, but that was a very hard golf shot. Yeah, I think that would have gone in if the pin was a little bit in more neutral. Turn. Ah, that was good speed. Oh my God. I just full on pulled it. Okay. That was not like me. Two over through seven. That hurts. 430 yard par four. It was a little to the right. It's a tight fairway. Yeah, that's perfect. Stop cutting. Stop no, you cutting. Want to cut. Keep cutting. I got 125 yards here. Quite the upslope. I uh, got a 50 degree in hand. God, I've had so many of these lies today. I've had a few of those uphill lies with wedges today that I've just kind of pulled. It's easy to not transfer your weight. And uh, yeah, that was a horrible shot from 125, but now I got to get this up and down again. Haven't hit many greens today. Fight, fight. Okay, all right. Another bogey, three over through eight. 600 yard par five here, slightly downwind though. So maybe I can get on in two. Okay, that is in the first fairway. All right. Holy okay, I have 300 out, so I'm not gonna be going for it. I'm gonna lay up. That felt like my second piercing of the day. 
so that should be okay. Okay, 129, got a gap wedge. Really want to birdie this hole. 38 sounds a lot more decent than 39. Stay right, stay right. Oh! I really need to focus up and make this putt. Here's the thing, the back nine is longer than this nine, so it's not gonna be easy to take it, take it low on the back nine and shoot a good number. Wow, nowhere near. I, I really misread that and put a bad stroke on it. God, I've been putting so good recently too. Okay, 39, three over. We can, uh, our goal is to break 75 now, so we gotta shoot under par in the back nine. It's gonna be tough with the way I'm hitting the ball right now. Okay, the front nine was 37.79 distance wise, and the back nine is 3,900 yards. So the back nine is over 100 yards longer than the front nine. Uh, the front nine was really sloppy. Like I said, I'm kind of doing some things with my swing. If you guys can tell, I'm bowing my wrist a little bit at the top, causing some of the weak misses out to the right with the driver, and some of the like miss hits on the irons, some of the chunks and stuff like that. But it's a work in progress. I'm trusting the progress. The pure shots feel really pure. Uh, this back nine, let's just try and take it deep. The putter's gotta show up, gotta make some long putts. And uh, yeah, 75 or lower would be a great score after that, that terrible front nine. I'm gonna be honest, it really took the wind out of my sails when I missed that short par putt after almost chipping in for birdie. Because I was one over going into that hole. I almost chipped in, got back to even. I missed the par putt and went back to two over and then I bogey the next hole. So that's just how golf can, can go sometimes. It's like a domino effect, you know? I need to not let that get to me. I think that's part of my maturity level. It needs to get, get a little better. Okay, 430 yard par four. Um, pretty straight ahead, kind of tight. Don't want to miss it right. Okay, that's a good miss. Just up the left side. Hoppity, hoppity, hoppity. Okay, I have 152, kind of a flyer lie, so I have P wedge. Um, but I don't need to hit this hard. I'm kind of, I'm going to knock it down. Oh, that sounded awful. Catch a piece. Sit down. Wow, that landed firm. Okay, four feet, three and a half feet. Okay, stress-free par, kinda. We're still three over through 10. Okay, 490 yard par four. Um, again, a lot of birdie opportunities out here. Hole goes a little bit to the left. I haven't been hitting my driver that good, so this has got to change if I want to do anything decent this night. God, it feels so unnatural today. 208 to the flag. Um, Guys, when you don't hit good drives on these long par fours and it's 45 degrees outside, it really makes them uh, really makes them long. It's just right of the green. It was very high. And if you guys haven't been able to tell by now, most of the time I'm a pretty entertaining golfer as far as my rounds, even though even if I shoot a 75 or a 68, they're fun to watch. So we gotta add some pizzazz to this nine. We gotta pull some shots out. We gotta do some crazy stuff. We gotta hit some bombs off the tee. And hopefully it'll start here. We're gonna, we're gonna knock this chip in. Speak it to, to existence. Nice. Almost called it. Got a little greedy with that chip. We got like 10 feet up the hill here. Okay, another par. We're still only three over through 11. That's a good par on that hole. That's a, that's a beast of a par four right there. Okay, 583 yard par five. Uh, pretty long and pretty tight, like all the other holes out here. Goes a little bit to the left. Gotta birdie one of these par fives though. Whew, dead straight. All right, finally, one of my better ones of the day. We're trading places. I'll show her how to do the camera work and she'll show me how to golf. Because obviously we both don't know how to do it either. Oh my. Don't talk while I'm. It'll roll. I have 295 to the flag. I mean, it sucks because I really feel like I hit that drive good and I still have 295 left. I'm going to hit the three wood, but I probably shouldn't. You're not worried about those people? All right. That's gonna be a little short of the green, but I hit it straight. That's the most important part. I'm hitting the ball absolutely nowhere today. I hit that three wood like 
240. I know it's a little little into the wind, a little cold, but still, I'm hitting the ball very short. Go. Go. Okay. Go. I gotta start playing more aggressive though. Today, I feel like I'm just playing very safe golf, scared golf, and bad golf. Okay, well you gotta hit the ball to make it. Oh, did I? Oh my God. That's a disappointing par because there's not many birdies left out there. There's not many par fives. This is a short par four, so we gotta take advantage of one of the next two holes because then the stretch after that, it's pretty tough. Okay. I hit that really good. Just I fading. Okay, I have 101 to the flag. We actually hit a fairway, two holes in a row, so that's an improvement. Hold on, I'm not filming you, I'm filming the train. You good. Please. Please. Oh, that looks close, doesn't it? I can't see it. Why are you lifting it up? <laughs> okay, we almost had another hole out today. That is a couple now, right? That's like three almost hole outs. Boom. Look at that. A little more run out, and it would have gone in. Thank God it's a tap in, because I obviously can't make putts, so both of my birdies have been literally less than a foot long. <laughs> okay, back to two over. Good. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, on this par three, this was one of my only shanks I can remember from my junior golf days. And I made triple bogey, so good thoughts going into this hole. All right, wind's in a little bit. I got a seven iron. Looks pretty good, just right of it. We got a chance at birdie. Oh, it's getting better. Got a little friendly, friendly bounce there. We'll take it. Wow. There was a point in this round where I just didn't think it was salvageable. I thought I had too bad of a day, the course is too tough, but here we are. Okay, it was crucial that I birdied those two holes because the next four holes we got, 500 yard par four, 600 yard par five, 240 yard par three, and 500 yard par four. That is gonna be a massive grind. But yeah, 500 yard par four. So, you know, just the usual. Uh, pretty tight. Whew. Stop, stop it. Okay, I have 224 to the flag. I actually did it so far right that it's fine. Uh, so I got lucky with one. We might not have been able to find it in there. Five iron in hands. Got a good idea where the pin's at. Well, I need to stop drawing. Like 30 yards short of the green. Actually not bad considering how bad that drive was. We still have a chance at getting up and down at par. That's it. That's pretty, pretty well done right there. We got like eight feet. This has got to go in if we want any chance of shooting par or better, which I know is a long shot with the way I'm hitting the ball today, but we've still been able to grind out to this point. Oh, how'd that miss? Wow. All right. Bogey, but go zoom back into that fairway. Look at that fairway. That's the portion of fairway I would have had to hit into. And oh, I was a little late again. That's okay, three shot hole. Okay, I have 282 to the flag. I kind of fanned that driver out. Uh, as you guys can tell, that's the, the common miss today. I haven't really been hitting it all too good. I don't know if it's because of the bowed wrist or not, but you know, those are just excuses. So I'm playing bad golf right now. Another one, fanned out to the right. I'll find that. It's just, uh, it's just not a very good shot. Okay, I gotta get this up and down to get back to one over uh, going into the last two holes, which would be huge, because the last two holes are very hard. Go, please. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, it's gonna be a tap-in par. That's a par, remain at two over, two left. Okay, I have a 244 yard par three now. Not many times I've hit two iron on on a par three. Stay left, please. I hit that one pretty bad, so I'm still 20 yards short of the green. Got to get up, got to get this up and down for a, for another par. Go. Go. All right. 
Okay, minimizing damage. Okay, I'm ending on a 500 yard par four. We've had a lot of those today. You cannot miss this one right, which I've been doing all day. You can miss it as far left as you want. But yeah, we gotta end on a good hole. If we birdie this hole, we shoot a 73. That was a good drive. I stopped bowing the wrist there, uh, funny enough, and that felt really good. Hey, that was my best drive of the day. I got negative one yard of roll, and it wasn't even that high of a shot. So we got 214 out. I carried that about 290, 295. I have a five iron in hand. Very narrow green up there. We're gonna try and stick it tight though. Oh, it's just left. Sit, sit. Almost at the finish line. I really just wanna go take a nap after this round. It's cold. My golf game is bad. Uh, the course is hard. I don't know what else, what else you could talk about. Honestly, one of the toughest finishing holes you could possibly have. Go, go. No, I pushed it. Sit. All right, we gotta make that for a par. Come on, do it, do it. Oh my gosh. 75. You know, there was a point in that round where I would have taken a 75 that really did beat me up a little bit. But uh, I had my one of my worst ball striking rounds of the year and still shot 75 on the longest course I've ever played in my life. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys want more 18 hole videos for YouTube. I will 100% do them. Uh, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already.